Okay, so how to flush and clean out your cooling system on your scooter. Give yourself about an hour and a half for this full procedure. You're going to drain the system a couple of times. You'll see how I'm doing it. I reduced this down to eight minutes because I got rid of all the fluff. Not all scooters will be water cooled, but if yours is, this is how you do it. I'm working on my 250cc Yamaha scooter. I basically removed the flush uh, coolant um, and we're working towards basically taking the fluids out we're draining the fluids so the first point of call is make sure the bike's cold and it hasn't been running if it has let it settle because when it's warm when you open the cap it will just flash everywhere so let the old coolant drain out put the rubbers back on they're normally held in place with a, a screwdriver you'll notice this uh, i've taken all my panels off it's because i'm already doing a full restore on this scooter so this is part of like the process of doing this so i've put the pipe back on screwed it back on it did take a bit longer to take these pipes off because they're buggers, they're really hard to get off, but I cut out all the bits where I'm struggling with them. So here we're making the mix. What are we gonna flush it with? Well, you know what? It's being flushed out with bark soda crystals, which is also known as baking powder or bark carbonate of soda. I'm using a spatula because I don't have a spoon that I can use in the garage. Six spatula, whatever that measurement is there. Uh, it's roughly about ooh, 60 grams of this thingy uh, soda crystals and then you'll notice when i put the vinegar white distilled vinegar into here it'll start frothing up so it's actually a good solution to flush out your scooter system with cooling system gets rid of all the grit and that so you'll see there see how it's frothing up like a shampoo kind of thing so we're going to mix that up we're going to add a bit of warm water measure how much coolant fits in your system it normally tells you in the manual mine is about 600 milliliters which goes down the pipes and into the radiator and in the expansion tank you could put a bit more but we'll mix this up i'll put a bit of warmer water in there i've got a measuring can which i didn't notice but it was slightly dirty so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drain this fluid before i put it in so i don't end up putting bits back into the system there's the water i've got an old mixing jug that I just use in the garage for this kind of thing with measurements on using the spatula to mix it all together we don't want any lumpy bits um, and then here I just used a bit of old cloth and then just refiltered the water through it basically to get rid of those little bits that were hanging about there's like little bits floaters you can call them and um, so yeah once that's gone through that sieve it basically cleans up the fluid and we're going to put it back in the cooling system so on your scooter you'll need to get the panels off to be able to access this bit but you can see now i'm starting to put it back into the main coolant section that will go into the bike system again and do it a couple of times you'll see bubbles coming out of it because obviously it's going to be uh, taking time to go into the radiator and all the crevices expansion tank is right next to it so i bit i put a bit of fluid in there as well and then let it sit for a little bit and kept my eye on it and just watched as the water went down and um, so you can see there the bubbles coming out of the system and those are showing that the water is slowly making its way down so now the next point of call is we're going to get the bike started up and let the fluid go down so i left the cap off took my side stand up and started the bike up and let it run for a little bit and i noticed that uh, more water went into it so then i put a little bit more of my solution in and allowed it to sit for a bit then I closed the the lid on that, the coolant um, tap lid, whatever you want to call the thing. Um, and then I left it running and let it warm up. I let the fan come on. There's a fan on the radiator. And then I knew it was fully warm. I gave it a little finger there just to make sure the water's, there's nothing in this in the way. Um, I did, this bike has been sitting for about five <coughs> years. Um, and I'm getting it back on the road. And I remember about two years before i sat it i did a full sealant flush sealant full coolant flush on it and i know the coolant was good so when it came out it wasn't too dirty so i know that i just gotta do a nice fresh job on this coolant and we'll take it from there so it's mainly just to show you how to do it because there's not many videos about the x city 250 cc so it's basically i'm just making a video so people know how to do it keep topping it up let the bike run let it warm up and it's a case of rinse and repeat basically 
So you're going to let the bike warm up, you're going to let it cool down, you're going to drain the fluids and if it's dirty you're going to do it continuously. Sometimes you can't even put a hose pipe on the top and leave the bottom pipe open and let it just clean the pipes out if you don't want to take the pipes off and do it manually. So you see the bubbles again. The bike's running now so I'm left that running. I muted the audio so you can hear what I'm saying and I'm voice over a later point. <clears throat> so you can see it's a solid bike uh, we're just topping it up again just so it gets all the way into every nut and cranny. And also as part of this series I am also taking the radiator off this bike because it's actually quite filthy and I'm going to get the radiator fins and all that cleared up as well. So you will see in a later section if you're following this process of the restore and um, how that comes along. So you'll see I'll put the cap on now. I'm going to let that sit and let it just get warm. I want it to get hot basically. I've kept revving it every now and again. You see the temperature is halfway so it's not hot. It's just in a good place. And we're just revving it and letting it warm up. <laughs> Once it gets warm up, then we can drain the fluid again. And I've cut all the little bits out of this that took a while. Overall, you're looking at about an hour and 15, hour and 30 minutes if everything goes smoothly and you can have this done. It was a colder day, to be honest, because what we're in December now, so it's actually winter here, so it's a good thing to do in winter. The expansion tank was screwed on with two 10 millimeter bolts. I took that off and I actually thought, you know, I'll clean and just flush that off as well because there's little bits of black debris in there, which didn't look nice. So I just used a toothbrush and brushed it out. Uh, I could have taken the whole thing off, but on the bottom, the clip was one of these odd clips. It's not like the ones you can pinch apart and take off. It had like a funny weld type clip. So if I thought if I break it, I don't have another replacement. And with lockdown and stuff, I'll have to order it and wait a few days. You can see the little black floaters. So I just emptied it out and then used uh, some similar fluid, bicarbonate of soda, vinegar and a bit of water. I put it inside there and used a brush and just gave it a good old brush match. And that looked like it got all the bits and then I put a bit of uh, the fluid in and shook it with the lid on. I just washed it all out. So it kind of got that bit sorted out as well. So that is basically the aim of this. We're basically changing all the fluids and each time, every couple of seasons, it would be good to do this Every year I think is a bit too extreme, but if you do it once uh, every two or three years, you should be fine. If you're continuously riding it, this has been sitting for about five years, so I thought, you know what, mm, let me just change it all. So there's a few more things I'm going to be changing. Uh, this is one of many. So we're doing the coolant, we're going to do the brake fluid, we're going to do the transmission fluid, we're doing the oil. Uh, I think that's all the fluids it takes, doesn't it? So yeah, there I'm putting that back on now, the expansion tank, and then I'm going to let it sit and cool. Um, I was doing this while the bike was cooling because I switched it off after it heated up so it's kind of like an interim extra thing that you could do and once you're working your way around that you can slowly clean it off the pipes were also a bit dirty and I was just checking those pipes to see they're still uh, malleable if they're brittle then you want to change the pipes as well so that pipe is an overflow for the expansion tank which goes down to the bike so I just took that out and gave that a wipe because it was a bit dirty as well so here now we're putting the uh, collector back underneath, loosening the little bolt uh, clips that's holding it, pull the pipe out and let it all drain out again. You'll see the water's not that dirty, it is similar to how it went in. So now I know that, you know what, it wasn't a dirty system, but I'm just cleaning it anyway. So that's coming out of the radiator. Next, I'm going to take the radiator off and do a restore on the radiator, which you're probably not interested in because you just want to flush your fluids. If you are interested in it, watch the next series in this 250cc restore project where I'm getting this Yamaha scooter back on the road and changing everything I can by myself to get it up and running. So that's the next pipe I'm taking off and you'll follow me on my next video you'll see it pop up and you can check out how i carry on with this